All right. So the wait in free agency for the Arizona Cardinals has been excruciating. They've signed some of their own players. They picked up Jeff Gladney, a cornerback. But the moves we were hoping to see in terms of bringing in new talent haven't happened yet. So what is going on with the Cardinals? Well, in this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on what's going on. I know Cardinals Twitter has been ablaze with criticisms, frustrations, debates, people really upset with the lack of movement by the Cardinals. Let's start by getting a couple things out of the way. If you think the Cardinals front office is trying to lose, you're wrong. If you think they don't have a plan, you're also wrong. They have a plan. Every team does. Now, you may not agree with their plan. You may not like the plan. And to be honest, we're not quite sure we know what their plan is. But they have a plan. And I'm not saying it's necessarily the right plan. I don't know. But I'm going to do my best to give you my take on what I think that plan is. As we all know, the Cardinals started out really hot last season. It was a very exciting time to be a Cardinals fan. But as the season wore on, injuries hit, DeAndre Hopkins was out, other key players missed time, and the team failed down the stretch. Now, I know a lot of people think this is because Cliff Kingsbury can't coach down the stretch because that's his track record. Some people think it's because Kyler got too banged up. Maybe that's true, maybe it isn't. But if you're the Cardinals front office, Kingsbury's your coach and Kyler's your quarterback. So you have to figure out how to win with those two. But one of the things that I was talking about last season as things unfolded and people in the national media also talked about was that the Cardinals didn't have great depth across the roster. This was particularly an issue at center when Hudson was out and at cornerback when players like Alfred and Marco Wilson started to miss time. But when they were healthy, their frontline talent was good enough to get off to a 7-0 start. I think what the front office is doing is they've looked at what happened last year and they think they need to build Depth. I think they look at their top line talent, their stars and their key players and think that's a good enough team to win with if you have enough depth to endure the injuries that are going to happen for any team. So I think what they're doing in free agency is instead of trying to make one or two big splashes, they're waiting it out. They're waiting until the big money has been spent and they're going to look to find some solid but affordable pieces to fill multiple needs. I think they believe if they wait and get solid but affordable players, they can fill those holes build depth, and they still will have enough top line talent to be a very good team. Now I get as we're watching other teams load up on talent, especially the Rams picking up Allen Robinson, it's frustrating. And you may not think the Cardinals are taking the right strategy. And if that's your opinion, you have a right to have that opinion. You might be right, but you also might be wrong. And don't get me wrong, it's been frustrating for me too. I love seeing new players signed. It's exciting. It's like Christmas morning. But we have to wait and see what the roster looks like when everything's said and done before we're going to assess it. If you look at the list of free agents that are out there still, there are a lot of solid players that will be able to help this team that are still available. And that's how it goes every year. Teams with a lot of cap space spend a lot of money at the front end of free agency, while many teams wait it out and get those budget free agents to build their roster. And if you've been watching football long enough, you might have also noticed a pattern. Many of the best organizations in football the teams with the longest standing success, organizations like Baltimore and Pittsburgh, New England, don't go crazy in free agency every year. They might spend some here and there, but they often take a more measured approach. I don't know if the Cardinals are taking the right approach. I do lean in favor of going a depth approach signing players that are less expensive but can fill multiple holes. And when we get to the draft, if they haven't signed a handful of free agents, I'm going to be critical of that as well. But they have a plan. Let's see what this roster looks like once they finished, and then how they start to perform when the season comes around. If it doesn't work out, then we're all going to look back and say that it was the wrong approach. And the ownership is going to do that too. Whether you believe it or not, want to acknowledge it or not, Michael Bidwell wants to win and every offseason he's going to critically evaluate what happened, what worked, what didn't work. And he's going to look to make changes. You may not agree with his decisions. You may not think he makes enough changes. You may not like the changes he makes. You may think he needs to make more changes. But no one in this organization is trying to lose. They have a plan. Let's see if it works. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.